Okay, so I have already started my topic that measurement of power in my last classes. Okay, so in my last class I have already discussed about the importance of measurement of power. That means the basic motivations. Okay, why we are much more focused about for measurement of power. Okay. Then in my today's session, so uh, I will discuss about the measurement of AC power. Okay. So because I have already discussed about the measurement of DC power. Okay, in my last session means last class. So I have already dis uh, discussed about the watt meter connections. Okay, so that means if if you using that ammeter voltmeter, both of the measuring devices. So which one is much more convenient means for measuring the accurate power of that uh, circuit means DC circuits. Okay, so where we have a uh, where we have done one comparative studies where the voltage first case that voltmeter is nearer to your load resistance and second case the voltmeter is connected nearer to your source voltage okay so then we have uh, we did some comparative studies and finally it can be concluded that the case one is much more convenient compared to your second case so some of the expressions we have found okay mathematical expressions finally we have we choose one numerical problem for solving that uh, issues and we have uh, gone through that uh, solutions okay and we have observed that uh, we have observed case studies of case a and case b okay so ideal power both of the cases same actual power is more or less both of them same but uh, meter indications also coming quite uh, few difference are there finally error calculation Okay, so it has been observed for the case two that error is five percent. Okay, and the case one that the error was one point seven percent means nearer to the two percent. Okay, so it is quite accurate compared to your second case. So that's why you have uh, decided that second case uh, uh, configuration of the case one. Okay, that is much more convenient compared to your second case. And then you have discussed about the basic construction of a dynamometer type watt meter for the measurement of the DC. That portion already covered in my previous class, means in my very uh, initial classes, means instrument, uh, I mean analog instruments, means electro mechanical instrument. That portion I have already discussed. Okay. So uh, that portion is covered in my last class. So today I will going to be discussed about the measurement of AC circuit. Okay, so so you can see over there. Okay, so in case of AC, so uh, you don't know about the which one is the positive and negative. Okay, so it is not possible to find out the actual positive and negative. So we uh, we need to much more focused about that instantaneous polarities. Okay, so instantaneous positive polarity, instantaneous negative polarity. Okay, so that we must be uh, we must be. Very cautious or conscious about them. Okay, so while you can see that uh, P T means uh, uh, from this expression, you can understand that it is your uh, instantaneous power. So that's the multiplication of instantaneous voltage and current. Okay, that's uh, written like that. Why P T V T I T are the values of instantaneous. Okay, so instantaneous for the instant. Okay, power for voltage and current. Okay. The, in the alternating current circuit, the instantaneous power varies continuously as the voltage and current varies while going while going through a cycle. Okay, in such a case, the power at any instant is given by that expression is already there. Okay, so what you have observed from that equation, so you know that basic equation because voltage, if the expression is Vm sine over T, so definitely the current will be there so with some angle delay that is phi phase angle difference is your phi because you are saying like that it's a lagging because current is lagging with your voltage okay so if the both voltage and current are to be assumed as a sinusoidal both are sinusoidal well but one uh, but the current is lagging with some angle phi with your voltage okay that is vt Okay, so Vm and Im both should be the peak value, you know all those things. Okay, 
and omega is your angular frequency okay omega is your angular frequency the instantaneous power t is given by what so now we are replacing that value so v and i that v and i you have been replaced by that expression v t equal to v m sin omega t and i t equal to i m sin omega t minus phi so it is coming v t equal to v m i m sin omega t into sin omega t minus phi so it's the formula of the trigonometry okay sin is sin be formula okay so you know that expression sin is sin be formula so directly it is coming p t equals to what v m i m by 2 whole into cos phi minus cos 2 omega t minus phi so that expression is coming okay from by equating this equation okay so now you are going to be averaged okay because uh, averaging is that way to find out the current so average rule of the power over the complete cycle such the case is given by so it's a formula for making it averaging okay so you can uh, you can see that formula that p equal to 1 by 2 t okay so total time cycle the total time period okay 2t into 0 to 2t pt dt okay finally you are replacing all those value then different steps are there so you have you know that formulas okay so vm im is the constant 2t you have also constant so it is coming out so finally we are able to get that expression because it's a function of dt okay so so all the except t except lower case t okay all the things are constant okay so that's why 2t is already coming out Okay, so finally it is coming phi t, so t. So nothing was there, so only t is there. So sorry, nothing was there, so it will be coming to t dt. Integration of dt is coming t, so t zero to t is there. So minus t by four pi into sine four pi by t t minus phi into zero to t. Okay, so you are getting that expression finally, replacing all those values. Okay, of that small lower case t. So finally it is coming v m i m by two cos phi. Okay, am I right? So finally, it is coming v m by root two, i m by root two cos phi. So it is coming v i cos phi. So where capital V and capital R? Okay, that is in R M S one. Okay. So you know that value that v m i m. Okay, so v m by root two means your R M S. So i m by root two means your R M S. Okay, so you are getting that final expression. Okay, related to the expressions by v m by root two and i m by root two. Okay, so you can draw that now you can able to draw the time domain away from okay so you have already know you have already known that expression of vt is the sinusoidal okay that is given in my video so sin omega t vn sin omega t and expression of it also in sin uh, function of a sinusoidal function okay so function of sinusoidal wave form with some time delay is there that is uh, phi okay so Vt equal to the sine wave, it is there. Okay, so after that, uh, it is also be there. It okay, it's having some angle delay. Okay, phase angle is there, so that position v is coming starting from zero. Okay, so you know the phase angle v is starting from that zero, and it there is some phase delay. Okay, so it is starting from here. So phi is the angle between that uh, your zero and That value. Okay, so in between you are getting the phi. Okay, so it is coming starting from here. So phase delay is there. So you can multiply both of them. So here you can see it is negative. So negative value will be multiplied with the positive value. Definitely you will get some negative. Okay, then both of the cases are positive. So it is in peaky. Okay, then again negative. Okay, because voltage is negative, current is now at that position. Current is positive, but voltage is negative. So that's why it is coming negative. Then it is zero. Current is zero. Voltage having some value. So definitely it will be zero. Then both of the signal is negative. So definitely it will be positive. I think you are able to understand the time domain waveform of power and uh, of the power means instantaneous power, which is your PT. Okay. And VT and IT, you are getting that expressions. Okay. That uh, waveform is coming from the previous expression. So finally. Uh, i think you are able to find out that expression of your instantaneous power so now you know the basic constructions okay so, so basic construction of electrodynamometer type watt meter so i am not going to uh, again discuss about the basic construction of electrodynamometer type watt meter 
okay because it is uh, already discussed in my class okay so where two coils are most important one is called uh, fixed coil okay these two are the fixed coil that fixed coil also known as in what meter it is a current coil cc okay so it's your fixed coil so it is your current coil that current coil is connected series with your main and load so it that terminal is called m okay it's your m terminal a m terminal then it's your l terminal m l it's your c terminal okay c means common and it's your v terminal okay so m l c v so current coil is connected in between main and load l for load m for main main means supply main okay so v source is there so it is your supply main and pressure coil means your pressure coil is a moving coil okay so it's an electro dynamometer type meter so electro dynamometer type watt meter so current coil means current will be flowing through this path so it is a fixed coil then again through the load it's your load again come back to here okay so but the pressure coil is connected across the load okay so that point you are getting that to point it is connecting rv is some resistance that limiting the meter current okay so here you can see some spring is there okay and the shaft is connected one pointer so it's a scale are there that is that pointer is sliding over that scale okay so you are able to measure that well okay so it's your moving coil that's your moving coil system coil number 2 moving coil system and first coil is your fixed coil system okay so current coil at the fixed coil and moving coil at the pressure coil okay c is your movement and the restoring system this means safe so c is your movement definitely it's your movement the pointer and restoring system means that control top that spring is there that is providing you the control top okay so it is a restoring system another one is called your damping system so some damping is required with this shaft because pointer is there so back side of the pointer maybe some damping balance weight is required sometimes gravitational damping if air piston also be there maybe fuel piston so that will provide you the minimizations that can provide you the minimizations of that pointer oscillation so that can provide you the damping okay system damping and finally you can see the shielding system okay shielding system also be required because it should be because you are using some magnet na pressure coil is a moving coil moving coil is your electromagnet only the current flowing over there so it's going to be magnetized okay so uh, minimizing uh, minimizations of this uh, so uh, there is uh, there may be effect from the external field to your moving coil as well as the fixed coil because all are the electromagnets okay so um, that's why some shielding is required for preventing your device from the external magnetic field so i think you are able well to understand that am and cb am and c both should be shorted c means common terminal and v is your voltage channel. okay so that is connected over there okay so it's your pressure coil and it's your current coil so what is the purpose of the current coil you can see the turning of the current coil is less why turning and the thickness okay turning is less and thickness is high but why because you can understand that current coil is connected with the series of your load and the main okay so most of the current i current is flowing through this path okay so what happen if if the if the turning is high means the more turning means may cause for lot of inductance okay so lot of inductance much more turning may cause for additional inductance mean inductive reactance inductive reactance unit also is your ohm so some additional countering effect is coming to the current okay due to the much more turning because it's a series na that's why you have to reduce the number of turning in your current coil okay that is confined number 1 condition number 1 for designing that current coil and condition number 2 is that the thickness because you need to reduce the effective resistance drop or effective potential drop across of your current coil so that's why you have to increase the thickness of your current coil okay so that may cause for reducing of the additional current sorry reducing of the additional resistance okay that's why the thickness of the current coil is much more higher than your pressure coil but if you see the pressure coil is normally connected that is parallel with your 
main and your load terminal okay so then what happened that number of turning is high also the cross sectional area of that conductor is also very less so effective resistance is much more so it's a very high high resistive pass okay so that may cause for exact potential drop appear across your voltage so it is easily measured it can able to measure that potential means voltage appear across your system okay so normally pressure coil is your moving in nature that's why it also called that moving coil okay so i know that operations of electrodynamometer type watt meter is already discussed i in my last class that measurement of current okay for the Yeah, DC current measurement, DC current measurement. That I have already discussed. So, if you want to see, you can go to my previous lecture, and it is already available. So, you can listen of that point. So, again, you are able to understand. Okay. So, because of the same thing is there, so I am not going to repeat that portion. Okay. Now we can go for the next one. So, here you can see that. it is called the electro dynamometer to watt meter next one is a induction type of watt meter okay so in case of induction type of watt meter the uh, what happen you can see the basic structure okay so basic structure is same the operation if you observe okay so the operation also be there so because uh, you can see here the direct magnetic interaction is there okay between the pressure coil and current coil but here you can see that voltage coil is there okay so there is you can see that magnetic ferromagnetic link is there okay that contain that voltage coil again voltage coil means it having lot of turnings okay and central link that shaft it is pivot we are joining pivot we are joining sir joining sir there so that's why it is pin type tip okay that is connected at which you are also the spindle okay so this is also your spindle so central link okay central link is there so your shaft and spindle is connected inside that central link okay so here you can see one aluminum disc is there okay so this aluminum disc is rotating for what because the magnetic interactions okay here you can see here you can see that uh, it's your copper shading band so copper shading band is there so because copper shading means is short circuited path there is some short circuited path across that means over your central link okay so that short circuited path means some magnetic field will be developed also so the purpose of this aluminum disc because it is rotating okay because there is a magnetic interaction of that copper stand copper shading band okay so which is your copper shading band okay and your voltage coil so there is some winding means some of the fluxes are were flowing over there it is your current coil so how the path is closed like that way okay so most of the portion is there it's your air okay so the flux line is coming to the air okay so that's the reason that's the reason that induction okay the operating principle operating principle of this induction type watt meter is totally depends upon that flux linking in between your current coil and voltage coil and that there is some space okay that is some air gap okay so due to the flux is flowing through from this the these two of the path so what happen because current coil is there so current it will uh, current is flowing through this path so some of the magnetic field is developed again due to the current voltage coil is connected parallel to of your system so definitely some voltage is appear to there so all the cases that some of the flux will be developed and that flux is circulating of the aluminum disc okay so due to the circulating of the flux inside of the aluminum disc so that may responsible for rotating of that aluminum disc okay so after the rotation so definitely due to the rotating some pointer definitely will be there okay so that may count so how much rotation is done within a minute okay how much rotation is done within a hour so okay so you are getting that volt ampere rating so voltage coil directly measure of your volt current coil is measure of your current okay and the if rotation is there in terms of time na so definitely how much time that we in what time how much rotation is there so you are getting that power as well as some energy okay because the unit of energy is you can say like that va time vat means volt ampere into time okay so because energy is the integrating 
इंटीग्रेटिंग पैरामीटर है ओके ओके सो एनर्जी इज योर इंटीग्रेटिंग यूनिट ओके सो दैट्स व्हाई यू आर गेटिंग बोथ ऑफ देम सो आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ यू एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट द फेजर डायग्राम ओके सो फेजर डायग्राम इज सिंपल थिंग बिकॉज़ आई एसएच मींस शंट सो दिस पार्ट इज योर शंट पार्ट ओके सो दैट शॉर्ट सर्किटेड पार्ट आल्सो बी देयर सो one flux should be considered okay so as a sorry one uh, sap okay so sh means sap one okay so some of the portion is there okay because main field flux okay that is your phi sh okay so uh, then uh, here you can see some short circuited part okay that may cause for what that may cause for some of the leading because if you know that it can short circuit current definitely leading with you system normal current okay so that's why uh, that current is there so uh, you can see over there that short circuit that f ac means series flux another one is esc is your uh, sorry emf so definitely induced emf lagging with some flux line with some negativity okay that's the basic convention so that's why both are in negative uh, lagging okay total current i is there because it is series so ish is there so definitely ish means again that flux line and it is 90 degree lagging okay that is your ish so finally you are able to get the torque value okay torque value means the torque is responsible for rotation of the aluminum disc so what is written like that the shunt magnetic flux phi sh is made to lag behind the applied voltage v with some angle of 90 degree definitely okay so flux line uh, should be lag behind of your voltage okay this is achieved by the use of the copper shading okay so copper shading ring is there here you can see the copper shading ring that is connected the central ring okay over the central ring of your induction type watt meter on the other hand the series magnetic flux that is phi se so it is a series magnetic flux okay in the same phase as the load current so load current is here i okay so it so load current is passing through that value sorry load current is passing through that conductor that current is i so the instantaneous torque so the instantaneous torque acting the aluminum disc okay definitely the instantaneous torque is acting to the aluminum disc that aluminum disc is there okay and what is that value it is coming phi sh into isc means flux of your shunt field and the interaction with your series current minus phi series into shunt current means phi sh into isc so uh, the flux due to the series current multiplied with your current of that shunt field okay So that's the basic thing. Uh, that's uh, that's the basic expression, mathematical expression for developing the uh, rotating, uh, developing the torque that is responsible for the rotating of your aluminium disc. Okay. Finally, the measurement of the power. That is most important thing. Okay. So measurement of the power means you can say like that uh, when you are able to use some watt meter. Okay. Directly watt meter is there. okay so watt meter okay three phase power measurement most important topic so that i have been discussed in my basic electrical classes okay so three watt meter you can directly used over here for individual phase line because three phases are there r y and b okay so three phases are there so you are able to find out after connecting the watt meter you are able to find out that power measurement okay so uh, you can see that the r y b three phases are there and v r n n means neutral and v v n three phases are connected over there okay so three phase current is i r i y and i b okay so now you are able to connect that watt meter uh, pressure coil that pressure coil is directly connected all of the points is connected to the v dash and if you are directly connect to them to the neutral so you are able to measure the current through the current coil of individual phase and pressure coil pressure coil is same uh, that one terminal is same so common terminal is for connected to your phase okay of r y b another terminal is common okay that is your c common terminal but okay, that should be connected to the neutral so you are able to find out that sum of the watt meter reading will be what it will be p1 plus p2 plus p3 equal to v r n into i r plus v y n into i y plus v v n into i b okay 
you can get directly the final value of the power so it is your power measurement by the polyphase system so you know that bonded equilibrium theorem okay so bonded theorem is that n number of phases network it is implemented in the n number of phases network the total power okay can be obtained by taking the summation okay can be obtained taking the summation of the n watt meter so okay here you can see three phases of that that's why three watt meter if there are if there are n phases so definitely n watt meters are required okay so connected that the current element element to the watt meter are each in one of the in line and the corresponding voltage element is connected between the uh, between the line and the common point so you know that uh, common points of that voltage element mean pressure curve is connected the line okay that is there line current and phase current okay same in star connected system okay so that is connected over there and you are finally able to uh, you are finally able to get that voltage that is already connected to the common point okay that is the v dash so all the pressure coil terminal is connected in the c okay so for individual phase you are able to measure that power and if you add all of them so you will get the final power okay then we are going for the power measurement for the three phase system okay so you know that i think all of you will be able to understand that 3 watt meter method okay so 3 watt meter method i have already discussed that was in here you can see that there is no connection in between neutral and common terminal but for the measuring purpose definitely the neutral and common terminal should be connected okay that's why the connection is there so some of the 3 watt meter reading such that the p1 plus p2 plus p3 equal to vrn in to ir plus vyn into iy plus vbn plus into iv okay so two watt meter three watt meter method the three uh, three wire system that's the example three watt meter three phase three wire system three phase four wire system okay so first one is your three phase how much wire is that three wire system okay now you are getting that four wire system one one two three and four neutral wire okay so both of the configuration is there so now we can go for the two watt meter meter so i if you again it's some topic of your first year subjects okay that i have been discussed in my class okay so in case of two watt meter meter two methods are there one is called the star connected system another is your delta connected system okay so in star connected system means your three phase configuration okay that configuration should be look like a star okay so here you can see it's the three phases are connected like a star vrn neutral is there okay so vvn and vyn three phase phases are there potential across the phases three lines are there ir iy and ib okay three currents are there so r y and b okay all are there okay so now if you add then p1 plus p2 equal to vrn into ir plus vyn to iy plus vbn into iv so it's your class work class work that in your copy class work copy you should do that the relation between that three watt meter system and two watt meter system and prove that both of the cases the reading is coming same okay by using three watt meter by using three watt meter for measurement of three phase power and by using two watt meter for the measurement of three phase power first you do it for the balanced condition okay that is your homework okay and you should do it in your class work copy okay in your homework copy okay means one copy is there so when you are going to submit okay that uh, measurement of power assignment not assignment that class work copy so that should be there okay i will cross check it first you should do for the balanced condition for star connected system then delta connected system in delta connected system that will be delta connected okay it was in star connected first there is delta connected there is no such neutral okay first do it for the balanced condition then your target is do the two phase measurement for the unbalanced condition at the time of exam that unbalanced condition problem will be there okay so when you are appear for the end sem exam on exam is coming on your 22nd so in that case we are also providing such type of problem okay so i think all of you will understand that 
that is uh, plus uh, first year topics okay so i i have already discussed in my classes okay so i am not going to discuss elaborately about that two word method method and three word method method so it's your home task okay so you can solve it to, to your home okay so one book you can follow that is hughes okay that is already given in hughes books and any of the examination books also so sahani okay that is also available so first balanced condition and unbalanced then unbalanced condition so you can solve it to your home and you are able to find out that relations okay so and uh, solve some numerical problem over it so two watt meter method means only two watt meters are connected okay one watt meter is removed first case you can see three watt meter w1 w2 and w2 and three here second case you are getting only two watt meter w1 and w2 w1 and w2 okay so now how to find out the power factor so similarly from that expression you are directly able to get that expression phi equal to tan inverse root c p1 minus p2 whole divided by u1 plus p2 so how that expression is coming is a very simple expression if you able to solve that three watt meter uh, two watt meter method so directly you are able to able to get this expression okay so now we can able to find out different power factor okay so cos phi now if you tan if you know the value of phi so you are able to find out the value of p1 and p2 okay so for the unity power factor then lagging power factor point 5 lagging power factor then zero power factor zero power factor means phi equal to uh, 90 degree so cos phi equal to zero okay so two, three things you are able to find out lot of things also be there so unity power factor zero power factor and uh, leading and your lagging power factor so you should draw that phasor diagram simple phasor diagram and for every individual power factor you should draw the phasor diagram in your home okay so i think uh, you are able to understand what you need to do in your uh, as your home task okay so now numerical problem will come at the time of exam okay similar type of based on this type of topics okay then you are able to find out that numerical problems and uh, reactive power measurement also be there because you are not able to directly measure the reactive power that's the big issue so, so you have to measure that uh, real power okay as well as the total power okay so if you able to measure both of the cases vi you have to measure then you have to find out that vi cos phi okay so if you are able to find out both of the power then you are directly getting the reactive power by subtracting that to help okay that's the basic convention that's the normal convention we are find out that reactive power measurement okay there is no direct hard and fast rule so we are using some of the methods okay that i have discussed right now that is one of the methods rest of the another few methods also be there that is also available in your home book okay so very simple methods are there okay so you can follow them and practice some of the numerical problem based on of your power factor that previous two watt meter method and three watt meter method because it's the first year uh, i have covered all those uh, balance uh, two watt meter balance method two watt meter unbalanced conditions okay in my first year classes so that is already there okay so i am not going to dis discuss the same thing i am not going to repeat the same thing you should do it in your uh, home and you should make that uh, update to your class work copy so when you are going to submit your class work copy that should be there okay so i think this is enough for your measurement of power okay so i have already completed so another topic is there measurement of the energy okay before your puja vacation i will complete it up to the measurement of energy and one class is required for measurement of uh how do you using the potentiometer okay so that's very simple because related to the bridge and the measurement of resistance that topic so okay so another two three classes i am able to complete my the most important and most significant topics for our electrical measurement and instrumentation so before puja vacation so okay after that i will start the my last topics like uh digital instrumentations okay and the um, sensor and transducers okay so i think uh, this is enough for uh, today's session so if you have any question you can ask me okay so uh, thank you so okay if you have any question so you can ask me 
sir please explain the phasor diagram which is what which one which phasor diagram that that ish isc that which one this one phasor diagram of this previous 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 one this one the induction type what meter that induction type what meter am i right this one yes sir okay it's a simple one simple thing okay Okay, so first you need to know the flux line. Actually, uh, actually what happened? I have given very basic brief. Okay, so that's why I am telling you. So write down all the mathematical equations. Okay, so if you able to write the mathematical equation, you are able to understand how that how it will be coming there. Okay, so if you know the flux line, okay, so you know the expression of the flux phi. Okay, because phi S H means which one is your phi S H? So sun field flux. Okay, phi S H S H is your sun field flux. So you should take one uh, that one flux as a reference. So you are considering that phi S H as a reference. Okay, now you can see if phi S H is there, so definitely E S H means induced E M F across the phi S H. So that should be lagging with some angle. Okay, because d phi d t e equal to n d phi d t. Okay, so directly it will be lagging by 90 degrees. That's why E S H is in your minus. Uh, it should be in your uh, minus y axis. Okay, and I S H is also be there because that is in phase of your E S H. Okay, then you have observed then uh, what is your phi S C? Phi S C means due to the uh, due to some copper copper ribbon are there. Okay, so due to the copper ribbon, what is there? So in due to the copper ribbon means copper shading band. Definitely there is some current. Okay, due to some current, what happen? Because it is short circuited path. Okay, there is some interaction of your shunt field flux with that current. Okay, if the both of them there is some interaction, so definitely there is some changes of that resultant flux. That is your phi S. Okay, so phi S C there. So you can see over there that phi S C and I both are in same phase because um, it's a nothing but if you directly deduce that equations, you are able to understand. And E S C definitely it is your uh lagging with your uh, lagging of what lagging with the angle of 90 degree because again it's an induced dmf so i s e series current also be in phase of your i uh, also be your what also be of your in phase of your esc okay so finally if you add both of them so you will get some current okay that's it it's a simple thing and finally you are getting that yes, value sir. of that is your torque explosion that is your torque expression so you can do one thing you would uh, follow uh, one chapter that is measurement of energy okay so the, there is some induction instruments okay induction type instruments uh, energy meter okay go to the next chapter measurement of the energy there is some insta induction uh, instrument okay so energy meter okay you just uh, you just uh, uh, study that portion okay so lot of uh, entire mathematical expressions are there okay so torque equation everything is already there okay you just follow that mathematical steps actually i have not given the total mathematical steps okay so uh, that chapter you can follow not a chapter it's a single page derivation so you are able to understand that how that different uh, steps are there and how the hazard diagram is related to that expression you can follow this uh, pages okay that's the next chapter means measurement of energy by the induction uh, that is your uh, energy meter based method induction type meter so you will to understand i think so okay okay so that that is enough for today's session